up and hello and hello again and welcome to the Living Strong Television Network broadcast where I am your host, Hey Prophet Johnson. And you know what to do right quick, call that friend, call that neighbor, and indeed let them know guys say, look, Living Strong is on. And we're in that fastest 30 minutes and it starts right now. We're continuing the topic of the setup the setup. And as you can see, I'm just sitting here uh, jotting down a couple of things because I want to go ahead and get right to the message here. Let's go to Psalms 91. You know, last time we stopped off, I think it was about um, on, a, on, on a cry for help, Thanksgiving for justice or whatever the case may be. But Psalms 91, because everything in life deals with something. You know, I set before you this day good and evil. Choose which you will serve. Uh, so Psalms 91 is where we're going. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to, I don't want to read it all. Because this deals with God's care in life. And we all know it. And you say, well, Prophet Johnson, we know that by heart. Of course we do. We all about know Psalms 91 by heart. It's, it's one of the captain's most favorite, <laughs> you know, texts. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and where I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, on his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Bored already, aren't you? Born already with this. Because we all know it. It's the warfare psalms. It's what the devil used. The devil will even used this against God's children. Didn't I tell you on yesterday a hard thing? That Satan will even use God. The devil will use God to destroy a child of his. Have you ever heard of Jim Jones? Oh, excuse me. Do the -do ring, do the ring. Hello. Uh, Doc, you know, it's, it's kind of cold up here. You know, we need to come down and do a revival. Oh, uh, well, uh, come on, uh, big apostle. You know, we love you. Okay, well, you go and play, you pay for the plane ticket. You pay for the hotel. You pay for all the food and gas that you use to serve that big chief leader. And after it's all over, you split 50-50 and you in the red before he even came down. Remember, you're buying the plane ticket. All right? You're paying for the hotel room. You're paying for all of the food. And the only thing that that person wants to do is come down and feed off of your success. See, the enemy will use God to basically take down his very own child. I set before you. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Here it is, verse number 10. I'm going to start reading here because I don't want to bore y'all with all of the Psalms 91 that we all know by heart. And if you say, well, Prophet Johnson, I don't know it by heart. Well, it's time to get caught up on the time. It's time to catch up. Okay? Here it is. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. If the evil cannot come upon thee or the plague cannot come nigh thy dwelling, then who brings the evil and who brings the plague? It's just you, yourself, and I. Just me, myself, and I. Here it is. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. It's a setup. To keep thee in all thy ways. It's a set up. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same in the beginning with God was God. For there's not anything that was made. Except it was made by God, he came unto his own, and his own received him not, but as many as received him to them gave he power.
power, gentle mind, ish, ish, y'all, male and female procreation to become the sons of God. And some of you are saying, uh, right now in my life, uh, I don't know whether to go uh, to the right or to the left. Uh, Death is everywhere, uh, running the streets, uh, even in the high towers, uh, even in the low villages. Uh, peace uh, somewhere in the land uh, is crying out, uh, saying, is there a voice in the wilderness? Uh, is there still a prophet left? Uh, is the truth teller on the scene? Uh, from the midnight hour uh, to the noonday, uh, we gonna praise our God. Uh, because praise uh, waited for thee. Uh, the Bible declares uh, that in the last days, uh, the love of many uh, would wax cold. Uh, and we're living in a cold season. Uh, Y'all excuse me while I loosen up. I'm getting a little fat on the neck. and getting a little tight. But in a cold season. A cold season of life. Who was the next man here? It was Dante, Brother Dante. Right there, 10 miles from the George Floyd case trial. Brother Dante, 20 years old, expired from the face of the earth. They threw gasoline on the fire. Did you see the man about six feet three or four or two? Big black guy standing up over Brother Dante. Got the cuffs while the white Caucasian lady is training the new officer just like with the lieutenant. And they knew. What is this incense? What is this little rear view mirror air freshener? And as they attempted to arrest him, the little lady said there's a warrant for his arrest. Fear set in! as the black snake dog slave catcher stood over him. He wrestled to get away and said to himself, no, no, in hell, no, I don't want to die this day. They came up as they wrestled and struggled and could have easily grabbed him. That big black guy should have grabbed them and just Locked him in. I got a taser. No, it's a gun. No, it's a Glock. No, it's a 40. No, it's a nine. I don't know what the hell I got. But my job is to gain my star. My job is to gain my place in the coven, in the havens in the underground world of the warlock, in the witches, in the demons, in the hunters of life that seek the soul of the drumbeat of a nation that doth not know whence it cometh from, for they claim themselves to be kings and queens but yet they strip themselves naked before the nation and show their Watusis in their Bootsies and show their Yang Yang in their Thangalangs and do all of that Thangalangs before mankind and claim that we are a something race of people? It's a shut up! Took the gun. Pow! Oh, shh. excuse me. This is a broadcast. S. Shittam Wood. Oh, shh. 
shit him wood. I shot him. The black guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Judge Floyd! A dead man on trial. Not chauvin. You see, all it takes, what do you mean one juror? What do you mean just one person? It's a setup. It's a setup. What are you going to do about your life? Point A to point B. People don't understand. Captain, if I could just have this little time to talk. People don't understand. When they tell you that, see, let, let me show you me just right quick. I never, ever go nowhere or even drive anywhere without 100% from point A to point B focus. As a black man, white man, you are privileged. Every black man do this. All of us. If you if find one that don't. Our focus is to watch out for the police. I, ch I don't trust no car, no truck. I don't trust a little old lady riding down the road on a scooter in a wheelchair. I don't trust a little short man with a skateboard with a beard on. No car, no truck, no vehicle on the road do I trust. For I think they are all policemen. Think about to live your life. You driving to go to the store to pick up uh, some bacon and eggs, and you and you driving and first you looking in your rear view mirror, you see a police over there, Lord, there go one right there. Hope he don't go to acting crazy. This is the life we live, white people. The white man on TV said, Oh. I was really surprised to hear him call his mom because I never thought about calling my mom. I never thought that I would have to do nothing like that. You know, you never, you're white. Prophet Johnson going to tell it. It's a setup. Simple, we stand with it. Wherever we are, we're going to stay with what we got. Here it is. Um, let, let's hurry up and read. He going to give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And they say, well, it's the will of God. No, it's God's allowable will through the evil of Satan. Satan is the one that's destroying these people. Satan is the one that's got black men killing black men. Well, they say if another black man would have killed Dante, it, it wouldn't be no problem. Of course it wouldn't be no problem because black people, they, they don't care. They, they, people just don't care. People care about themselves. God, see, you know when people got money, you don't hear from them. So folks got money. They got their stimulus checks. You see? So wh what are you worried about? Nothing. We're fat. We're healthy. People are dying up. The variants of 19, life goes on, you go to work, you come back, rendezvous, we still party. What's the big deal? We love it. It's a setup. This time is going to call the fact that it is appointed under man once to die. And after that, the judgment. And life is based upon love and forgiveness. There was a fella that I used to laugh at all the time. He used to say, life will teach you. Life will teach you. He was right. He was right. I'm able to see it all of how the enemy manipulates, undermines takes the child of God and use the anointed one 
and his anointed for his own glory to be living with and serving and sleeping with Judas every single night not knowing that you have been betrayed by the witch not knowing that you have made a covenant with the warlock and that your serving God is serving Satan wake up people all of this little pastime all this little rendezvous all this little soul searching in life running from house to house church from church net to net broadcast to broadcast television station to television station not knowing where your appointment time is not able to get into the word and read this word for yourself because you are the word and the word is you and in him do we live and move and have our being and your success is inevitable it must take place the miracles the job the family as far as me and my house we are going to serve the Lord we going to look to the hills from which coming our help, our help coming from the Lord. Change is inevitable. You are in metamorphosis. The best is about to take place. You might as well tighten up your belt, pull up your boots or your stilettos, and let your hair hang down and get your false teeth back together. And you might as well strut your stuff and get eyelashes that's long enough to cover up the heat of hell uh, and go head on uh, and put on your three piece poly in Esther suit uh, and go ahead and deck the arrangement uh, of that Christmas tree uh, because the solitude of God uh, and the answer to mankind uh, is on the way uh, I see the bright and shining star uh, coming in uh, from the east uh, setting again upon the manger uh, saying who is man the angel said uh, that thou art mindful of him uh, he's made a little bit lower uh, than the angels uh, God said it's a set up uh, all of mine and thine of mine uh, I've tested their love uh, I'm testing their joy uh, I'm testing their gift uh, and everything that I gave them in life uh, that's why I made them rich uh, that's why I gave them money uh, because I wanted to know uh, if I could trust the leaders uh, if I could trust the governors uh, but they don't know uh, that hell is enlarging herself uh, day by day uh, I said come unto me uh, all you that labor and of a heavy laden and I will give you rest but we don't have rest because the earth moans and groans after the earnestness of the coming of the sons of God will we rise will we come again will we break bread where is our peace this is the shut up shit and you say, Prophet Johnson, I've been hurt. I've been broken in relationship, used and abused. Some have even sold themselves into the pimpology of prostitution. No better than the church that is prostituting Jesus Christ. To set up. You say, well, I've been in a marriage and I've been hurt. Broken and married the wrong person I thought was right. Got children and don't care nothing about me. Look like I lost everything I ever had and went to the dungeons of the dog only to be eaten by the moth and the termites. And that which is of the centipede to destroy the restitution of my rags. It's a setup. 
Say, he left me, he hurt me. Say, I'm seeing someone, but I'm not sure about it. It's a setup. Your heart is being tested with love, and the first place he's going to try your love is with your money. The first place he going to try your love is with, his, with your sex. The play, first place she going to try your love is with your money, your security, and her sex. You see, you got to understand the body is supposed to be the temple and is the temple of the Holy Ghost. If any man defile the temple, him shall God destroy. So the release, hallelujah, of your choices in life is going to be based upon the truth of where your treasure is and the foundation of where your heart is. And don't you ever go say, I do. Don't you ever covenant yourself with someone who cannot match what is in you. Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh, but he hath nothing in me. Let us arise and go hence, which meant that when Satan showed up, he looked inside to see the soul of Jesus, to see what he could manipulate, lie, cheat, and steal, and undermine. But all he could see was the holy of holies, the glory of God, the image of the only begotten Son of God. And he could not match himself with the soul of the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. The enemy seeks to match you with a soul that matches you uh, but is that the soul that God have matched you with uh, is that the life giving force uh, that's going to build his kingdom who are you singing your songs for who are you playing your records for who are you cutting tapes for because life is short uh, and man days are full of sorrows uh, and very very short why don't we look at the setup? Well, you haven't said anything, Prophet Johnson. Of course I haven't. I've been talking to y'all. Here it is. Uh, the angels, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Uh, dash thy foot against the stone. I stomped my toe so many times, couldn't even count it. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the altar, adder, uh, the serpent, uh, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Okay? Here it is. Verse number 14 is what I want to get to. You did all that talk for one verse? Yes. Here it is. It's a setup. Because he have set. What? No, no. See, it's in your Bible. He have set his love upon me. See, a lot of people done took the love of God that was set up on them and throw it off like it was old broken up uh, uh, pottery plant or flowers or something. He has set his love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him. I will set him on high. <laughs> you see, you see, because he have known my name. What's his name? Jesus. Uh, why is it that name has a high and a low to it? We just say, just say it, Jesus. Uh, see, we don't like that. Jesus. Now, wait a minute here. Jesus? Uh, Jesus. The government don't like it. The devil don't like it. The pastors don't like it. Church folk don't like it. They don't, a lot of people, they just don't like that name. They, 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 they despise it. See, some of y'all barely can say it your own self. You're embarrassed to say it. Why are you embarrassed to say Jesus? <laughs> he shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. Do you see that? Do you see it? You see? Now, let me show y'all something now. Show you what, how this works. 
George Floyd, I don't want this thing to get out the way. George Floyd, when he was being murdered, he, he called up on everybody. God, his mama, the police, that brother that did the testimony, I hate to say it, but the brother was saying, well, why don't you just get up? Why don't you just get up? I told you not to be trying to resist. I told you you can't beat them. Why don't you just get up? They killing him. See how ignorant? Do you see the signification of the black man? You see him? He meant well. Come on now. But he played the role for the white man. See, you wearing all black. You, see, here's how it goes. Playing all black part, wearing all white. Playing all black part, wearing all white. Knowing one thing, it is right. I don't know what you're going to say, but anyway, I'm playing all black part, wearing all white. You're just playing all black part, wearing all white. You'll figure it out later. Hollywood will show you. Television will show you. Money will show you. God is even forcing the sellout black people on that news that chasing them foxes' tails, he's even forcing them to admit that to many of them, I'm bringing up a dead word, they are still considered to be nothing but, don't say it, don't say it, prophet, don't you say it, niggas. Did I say it? <laughs> or Prophet Johnson and tell him why because your pastors ain't gonna tell you you'll waste your time what do they have to what do they want your money where's the kingdom where's the power where's the Forever and ever. Amen. Let the brokenness of my soul speak to the truth of my future. And for this reason was I born. Let it be as it is written. That this is Jesus Christ till death do us oppose. For I am married to Christ. Not Whatever. Yeah? You got to know who you married to. You got to know who you in love with. Why do they love you? Why are they with you? Who are your friends? You think you know them? <laughs> oh. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. <laughs> I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Thank God. Whew. Boy, Captain, I thought you were going to never come out of there. My Lord, Captain, just showed up. And thank God that, that we can get ready to close on out now. And, um, you know, it's, it's a blessing to be able to to go ahead on and finish up and get out the folks' way.
So I, I guess that it would be something else I'll show you. Captain gave me another minute. Well, why don't we look at this and pick it up on tomorrow night? Um, Y'all know it's getting hot, it's hot and heavy on this week, isn't it? Here it is. <laughs> well, Prophet Johnson, give us one more before we go. Captain, I got about a minute. I'm going to sneak one more in there for him, and we're going to close out. Job 30, where, where am I at? Just a loss, just a loss as I could be. Job 33, and we're going to pick this up tomorrow night, Captain. How about that? But let, let's read this and we we gonna get this boy. We're gonna get this tomorrow night. Here comes the good get get your coolie up stuff together. Job 33, Cap, we close it. Wherefore, Job, I pray thee, hear my speeches and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth. My tongue have spoken in my mouth. My tongue have spoken in my mouth. What does that mean? What does that mean? My tongue. The revelation of the mouth, the tongue speaking, the issues of the heart. Here it is. My words shall be of the uprightness of my heart. Didn't I tell you that? In my lips shall utter knowledge clearly, clearly. You're not going to stutter like Prophet Johnson. Why? Utter knowledge clearly. Why? Because the setup is in order. You've got to fine tune and don't agree with the devil. If it's not in your heart, if it's not in your spirit, don't let this them set you up. Don't let them pick or choose your husband, your wife, your job, your family. Let them help you, but don't let them choose for you. I got to close. The Spirit of God uh, have made me uh, in the breath of the Almighty uh, have given me life. Uh, I'm closing. Uh, if thou canst answer, set thy words in order before me. Stand up. Why did he say it? He said, set thy words in order before me and stand up. Why? Because the word is what's ordering your life. Wherever you are now, whatever you're going through, you may be bound, beaten by drugs, hurt and depressed, thinking about suicide, hurt in relationship, job, family, whatever it is. If there was ever time for you to say, God, now is the time, now is that time. Say, break, break the stronghold of the enemy and set me up according to your word. And forgive me, Father, for all of my sins, and I receive Jesus Christ. Come on, as my Lord and as my Savior. And I thank you. I'm hurting. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow night. Will you be a blessing to living strong? P.O. Box 363, Rizland, South Carolina, 29936. Or help us out through PayPal. And I want y'all to know, we thank God for each and every one of you. No gift is too small or too great. Be blessed and remember, no matter what happens in life, it's a setup. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye. I'm wider, I'm stronger, and my hope.